it started out as a book of COVID cartoons that I had drawn. But I began noticing all over the world that friends of mine and some I didn't even know were drawing terrific cartoons on COVID that were perfectly understandable in Montreal or South Africa or anywhere because we were all faced with the same dilemma. So I began to think, what if I could get permission to A, get a lot of these top cartoonists in the world permission to use them in this book and at the same time raise some money for a local health institution that's done a lot of good work. God bless them, Dave. All of the cartoonists cooperated. All of them have said, fine, Jerry, whatever you'd like to use, it's nice to be able to help out. You know, the thing is that humor is our saving grace. No matter how difficult the situation, eventually we learn to laugh at it in one way or another. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful release. So there's some very, <laughs> It's hard to believe, but on this dramatic subject of COVID, there's some hilarious cartoons in there. Let me give you an example. A guy in France drew Keith Richards, right? And the cut line on their bottom says, at 4.30, Keith Richards got COVID. At 5.30, the virus died. <laughs> the highlights in the book, I think, are, are those uh, knock out cartoons that just sum up a whole situation. We have themes in, in throughout COVID. The COVID symbol itself was unknown two years ago, but now it's as, as well known as Coca-Cola. Uh, so that has been used in cartoons time and time again, because there's no bad guy here. There's no villain. It's only this damn thing, right? So that has become the symbol. So a highlight in this process was choosing wonderful cartoons that featured the COVID symbol in one clever way or another. A second element would be the masks, how we just, just way back in the, the, the Spanish flu in 1919, same thing. They protect themselves with very similar masks. So it's a basic, uh, basic thing throughout the book, the business of masks and topping out, talking about them and people who refuse to wear them and that sort of thing. Uh, I, another thing would be the business, obviously, the business of people dying and health care workers. There's a very, very strong chapter on the wonderful health care workers who did so much good all over the world. Cartoons that were drawn in Libya could have been held, tucked up in a hospital in uh, Minneapolis. There's a universality here that... Uh, so yes, there are definite themes. And I think generosity too. One of my favorite cartoons in the book is theoretically anonymous. And it's a child having tossed away its little fire trucks and so on and holding up new toys of nurses and doctors and, and playing with them, right? The new superheroes. The great thing about that, Dave, is that that was drawn by Banksy, the famous uh, street artist in, in London. And it just appeared anonymously on a hospital wall and with thanking the workers inside. And eventually it sold for $23 million at auction to raise money for that hospital. How wonderful a story is that?